So in my previous videos, I've gone over how to install Multisim and how to use it a little bit. Uh, today is the last day of my evaluation with Multisim. So you can see the license status, evaluation, and zero days remaining. So I'm going to go to launch Multisim. And I'm not going to extend the evaluation period. So this is the version I've been showing you that we downloaded for the trial. I'm just going to go to help and about multi-sim and I want to show you that it does come up and say multi-sim education edition so we've been using the edition that you would have used in the labs as it was installed and uh, now I'm going to put in my uh, registration codes and everything for the multi-sim student edition but before I do that I want to go over a few changes that are going to happen so the first thing is these two little icons up here, place ladder diagram and place ladder rungs are going to disappear because in the student edition we no longer have access to uh, ladder rungs. So you have to keep that in mind when you're telling students to use the student edition. A few of the menu items that are going to change. Um, this item right here projects and packaging that's going to disappear uh, we're gonna have uh, recent projects are also going to disappear on us when we go to place quite a few items are going to be missing so right here new hierarchical blocks so those two items uh, three items are going to be missing uh, new PLD hierarchical block is going to be missing multi page and bus vector connect are also going to be missing as well as the last item here place ladder rungs will also be missing so you can see there's going to be quite a few differences so I'm going to bring up the student edition of multi sim now and show you what the student edition menus look like so I've now activated my Multisim Student Edition and I want to go over some differences with you. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the Help menu item and go to About Multisim. So you can see here it now says Multisim Student Edition whereas the trial version that I was using said Multisim Education Edition. Now you'll notice I'm missing a couple of icons here. The first one is Place Ladder Diagram and the one beside it was Place Ladder Rungs. So when we go to the Student Edition we can no longer do any kind of uh, ladder logic. So checking out the File Menu Item, New, Open, Open Samples, Close, Close All, save, save as, save all, but what's missing is export template. Snippets is still here, but we're missing projects and packaging. We still have print, print preview, print options, recent designs, but we're missing recent projects. We have file information and exit. Going over to the edit menu, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, and paste special, delete, delete multi page, select all, but we're missing the find or control F function. We have the merge graphic order, assign to layer, and layer settings, orientation, align, title block, edit symbol, font, comment, but we're missing forms and questions. Going over to the place menu item, there are quite a few things missing here. Everything after connectors on hierarchical 
blocks are missing. So those three items are missing. Uh, new PLD hierarchical block is missing. Multi-page is missing. Bus vector connect are missing. And underneath title block was place ladder rungs and that of course is also missing. Simulate seems to be missing a few items. We're missing the XSPICE command line interface. We're missing load simulation settings and save simulation settings. Moving on to transfer. We're missing export to other PCB layout file. Under tools, a few things seem to be missing. So what we're missing here is the variant manager. Set active variant, circuit wizards, we're missing the electrical rules check, the clear ERC markers, and toggle NC marker. We're also missing the icon for educational website. We're missing a whole menu item on reports. So under reports was Bill of Materials, Component Detail Report, Netlist Report, Cross-Reference Report, Schematic Statistics, and Spare Gates Report. Under Options, we're missing the Simplified Version item. So there are quite a few items that are actually missing from the Student Edition that were in the Trial Version, which was the Educational Version. So you need to keep this in mind. So as a short review on our editions, we can see a National Instruments Multisim Student Edition is $60.95 from Studica. If we do a search on how much Multisim costs, you can see the educational version is actually 10 times more than the Student Edition at $628. You'll notice the price goes all the way up to Power Pros. $4,591. Over on the National Instruments website, they actually do a comparison on academic features. So they're comparing the student versus the educational edition. So the student edition is the one we're going to be using in our simulations. The educational version is what's installed on the college computers. Scrolling down the page, we can see the differences between the two versions. So the student edition is missing the hierarchical blocks and the advanced search. The student edition only has access to 5,000 parts, whereas the uh, educational version has over 14,000 parts. The student edition, you can only have a maximum of 50 components in a design, whereas at the college we had an unlimited number of components. Scrolling a little further down, you can see the student edition does not have access to the ladder diagrams. So once you've paid for your student edition over at the uh, Studica website, they do have a how to install and activate Multisim 14. So scrolling down here, they do go through all the steps on how you need to install the license for that software that you've purchased. Now I know that a lot of students are going to go out on Google and type something like this in. And you can see Google has a whole bunch of related searches. Now I'm not going to talk about these other than to say that the uh, license activator for version 12 does work on version 14. It will generate a serial number for you and it will actually patch the software for any version that you want. I just want to remind you that over here in the forums there's people looking for the breadboard and ladder logic and they're only part of the educational or student versions so please keep that in mind so do not install yours as a power pro version because you'll lose some of the educational uh, features that are available in multi-sim 
One of those is the breadboard view. So you can see in breadboard view, we can actually see components placed on a breadboard. So this is kind of an important feature. So make sure that you do purchase the uh, student edition or the educational version. So I hope this gives you a clearer view of what the different versions are like. Uh, I'm going to be simulating the labs or AC circuits using the student edition only. So please don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when these become available to you. And thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.